Ксения Миябрагиловски, 7.30 p.m. on the 20th of September. This is my video number 280-something. I uh, lost count. I've been posting practically on a daily basis uh, since September last year or August last year, so for more than a year now, okay? Um, again, I'm just sitting here at 106 Mont Column Boulevard in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada, and being humiliated by community. My phone is being tampered with, so the texts, the kind of texts that I'm getting are uh, just humiliating. They are just the degradation, humiliation, and taking me for an imbecile. Services I never reached out to, or services I did reach out to, but with fake phone numbers, you know, how intelligence services slash police slash whoever else um, just posting different type of phone numbers for different groups so you don't know who you're talking to as you are reaching out for essential services. I've been uh, trafficked into Canada, okay, uh, under false pretenses. My mother has syphilis in her brain. No one disclosed this fact to me. My house was vandalized. I've been denied jobs multiple times. And uh, if you compare my house to the houses in the vicinity, uh, Clear-cut case of discrimination. You know what? Yes, I am large. I am a large dad. I have cellulite. I have varicose veins. I definitely don't fit in into the Middle Eastern Oriental culture of females being 11-year-olds with tight pussies, pardon my French, sitting at home learning French, being all white kittens. No, I'm not. You know what? My father abandoned me. My mother got syphilis in her brain. I was humiliated and degraded back in USSR and the territory then became the Republic of Uzbekistan. The Republic of Uzbekistan was more than happy to make me its citizen, okay? Uh, while uh, demolishing and vandalizing my property, Canada decided to perpetuate this whole d discrimination and harassment case, denied me multiple opportunities to make a successful career here again by placing me into... Uh, workplaces with uh, patriarchal structures, with uh, uh, values and beliefs that promote and reward females <coughs> that are younger, tighter, obedient, etc., etc. So think about the uh, Oriental culture, okay? Uh, even culture of patriarchal Russia. Uh, that's where I do not fit in. I am a a woman, a standalone, mature, I'm 38 years old, I have loved, I have loved all over my body, all over, plenty of it, cellulite, I am definitely not a racing horse, okay? I'm not in any position to get myself a man or to procreate. This whole society, what? was picked up by the government of Canada, sterilized me, okay, based on my genetic qualifications, based on my bloodline, and based on my uh, physical appearance, okay? So, yes, I am mature, I have learned everywhere, varicose veins, uh, wrinkles all over, uh, my hair is dry, it's not luscious, I am a fucking no white kitten for you, so, no, definitely, by placing me into those workplaces, I was consistently denied um, professional uh, opportunities. I was denied to be able to provide for myself. I was denied uh, a career. I was denied opportunities to provide for myself, okay? Uh, but, hey, we have equal rights here in Canada, right? So, um, disabled people, people with uh, all uh, different profiles, they get uh, equal rights and opportunities. Guess not. Guess what? Not for me, not for my profile, apparently. Okay, we have queers, we have LGBTQ, we have darks, we have whites, we have this, we have that. All of them are doing wonderful, except for lard us. Immigrant Slavic women, you know what? Yeah, Lardas immigrant Slavic women with teeth, uh, teeth and syphilis and tuberculosis in their bloodline get forced into the shittiest shithole of a house. I have Indian couple in front of my house that moved out just recently. Their garage 
looks nowhere near how my garage looks. Nowhere near. I can't get. Uh, I can't even get myself a normal car because I'm afraid. What the fuck uh, is gonna? Who the fuck is gonna open my garage in the first place? What's gonna be done to the, to it? Okay, and not to mention how it was constructed in the first place. Okay. I'm not gonna go into structural details of my garage, but let me say that it was uh, uh, less than a solid construction, less than, uh, uh, you know, integrity of a structure. So, needless to say, again, I'm 38 years of age, I'm nearly destitute, I'm nearly destitute. I am uh, constantly being shoved into workplaces with patriarchal structure that promote women of uh, certain uh, genetic qualifications. So, for example, earlier today, I stopped by the municipality of Wollon at 2141 Major Mackenzie, whatever. I have a dead tree. I have an old, overgrown, fucking huge as uh, deadwood everywhere disease tree in front of my house. I've launched multiple requests with the city of Fomon to remove it. Okay, simple. Just remove the tree. Don't want it. It's encroaching. It's infestive. It's a uh, attraction for all sorts of squirrels and birds and uh, uh, pests and insects. I don't want it. Remove it. Nothing is happening, nothing is happening, nothing is happening. The permit application is there, nothing is happening. I go to the municipality of one uh, wonderful uh, uh, constructed structure of immense proportions, probably all for administrative duties of diligent girls, 18-year-old to 25-year-old, who are employed there, who know nothing. They are just sitting there looking pretty and sending you to that dude or to that dude. So secretaries, okay? A huge ass... Uh, 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 luxurious uh, structure made out of stone with fountains, with this, with that, with, filled with secretaries who know nothing or it's made to look this way. So 18 to 25 year olds, so like uh, dressed up, uh, makeup, hair and whatever, and they are sending you here, sending you there, sending you here. Nothing is being done. Some dude, okay, so this is the latest reference, Andrew... Sweatlaw, okay, extension 3615 uh, is taken care of my file to remove the tree. I don't understand what the fuck I'm even uh, struggling with uh, the tree for months now, okay? Horticulture department, you drive around the city, you see an unsightly tree, take care of it. You see that the tree is overgrown for the infrastructure in place, take care of it. You know what? It's your job. That's what you are paid taxes for, you fucking assholes. So yet another reference by a looking secretary with tits out, with hair, and sitting there looking pretty. Okay? So anyway, uh, if the United States of America is uh, making the case for me, I'm not interested in war, I'm not interested in fighting this or in fighting that. You clearly... Pick me up as an underprivileged child. You know that I was a lardass. I was always a lardass compared to all the uh, Ilona Bagdasarova and Lola Karimova and all the other Oriental slash Asian girls. They're all tsipachki taki la 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 I'm not interested. I'm not interested. If uh, our Russian pedophiles are interested in tight pussies, uh, 11 year old looking. Uh, uh, narrow hips and uh, tiny thighs and ponytails and fragile shoulders and like all looking all fragile by all means. If that's the kind of bait you're using for them, for them to work and get the national economy to develop nations, their choice, their choice, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in your fucking ethnic cleansing, I'm not interested in your fucking wars. I'm not interested in uh, how you trafficked me under false pretenses. All I want from now is I want to be relocated. If it's Russian Federation, by all means, I want to be taken out of this shithole of a house into which I was forced by way of discriminating me based on my childhood underprivileged position of poor socioeconomic uh, standing because of prisoners of war again, because of uh, genetic qualifications, mm. pussy is not tight enough, sorry, too big, 
too big, uh, can't find a husband, uh, all by yourself, uh, woman, uh, not obedient, etc., etc., whatever. I don't care. I don't care. I'm uh, sitting here being discriminated on property. My phone communications are being just tampered with. I'm not going to change my phone number. I'm not changing shit. I'm not changing shit. I want to be relocated either within the community by you changing the community in the first place and I want and or I want to be moved from this shithole of a house that I'm trying desperately to renovate but I can because my phone communications are being tampered with, okay? So, again, I'm sitting here a prisoner of war. A prisoner of war. What do you want from me? I'm not interested in your starting work here or starting work there or working against this or working against that don't care i don't fucking give a flying fuck i want a normal property i don't want to be discriminated based on my yet again genetic profile yes i am a lardas i am a, the lardest of the asses out there i'm very proud of it i don't need no fucking russian pedophile to jerk off 11-year-old uh, sitting here being my boss, okay? That's what is not gonna get me normal professional growth. It's not, the situation is not gonna get me opportunities to provide for myself. So remove me from those fucking idiots, from the, all, uh, all the targets of your ethnic cleansing, for all the targets of your 80 year, uh, 80 hours, 10 days, they are looking at your tight pussy, French, uh, uh, Quebecois, or Irish, or Canadian girls, all from with mommy and the daddy, and they are learning French, and they are all privileged, they are jerking off of them four times a day, and that's why they can work 12 to 18 hour uh, days, by all means. By all means, if they are imbeciles like that and they are selling their genetic profile, they are selling their race, they are selling their ethnicity, just to jerk off of some foreign bitches who are overprivileged and sitting there with the money and the daddy, by all means, but I am not going to facilitate this. I'm not going to uh, sort of uh, sit here and uh, pay for this. No, I want to be taken to my... Uh, roots to my ethnic profile, to my racial profile, with the society and the community where I will be welcomed and ce celebrated and not be ostracized, vandalized, trespassed on, broken into, denied rights, denied professional opportunities, harassed and uh, persecuted, communications being tampered with, persecuted internationally. I don't want this. I want to be removed from harm's way. It's 38 years that I've been in this situation of being a prisoner of some sort of war, of someone's agendas. I don't want it. I don't want your fucking uh, bitches with their exposed asses walking around here and uh, sort of uh, all alluring, uh, making our Russian, yes, they're all Russian pedophiles. They're all jerking off on 11-year-old looking girls. That's the... Uh, uh, unfortunate repercussion and the result of uh, years of ethnic cleansing and years of uh, bullshit culture, patriarchal, uh, institutionalized uh, way to build the society. Anyway, not part of it, not going to promote it, not going to assist, not going to facilitate it. I want to be taken out of this shithole and move to either another community, benevolent, and where I will be celebrated and welcome, or moved uh, to Russian Federation, where I will be able to work normally, given my Russian tongue and ability to speak whatever, one, two, or other foreign languages, including English. So, anyway, I cannot reach normal services. Uh, the municipality of Swan at 2141 Major Mackenzie is bullshit. Beautiful building. D.C., Washington, D.C., just Washington, D.C., with fountains and with this and the stone that and, like, all the wonderful engineering architectural structure, the, the flowers and the cars and the trucks and all of this bullshit, the secretaries everywhere, Monica Slivinskis and the makeup and this, you know, bullshit. I don't give a crap. I don't give a fuck. 
can fly and fuck about what they are doing or what they are trying to make it look like, okay? Don't care. I want the dead tree off my yard. I want a normal property. I want either this property to be renovated or I want to be relocated to a normal property and community where I will be able to provide for myself and to prosper, okay? I, again, I repeat, I was trafficked into Canada in 2006 under false pretenses. Back home, okay, USSR slash Uzbekistan, yes, uh, by all means, there was discrimination, harassment on all fronts. If you didn't have a tight enough pussy, if you had a child, two children, three children, forget it, forget it, you're no one, you're no one, you're not getting any services, you're not getting any jobs. Your uh, genetic profile, oh, too big, too large, too this, too that, you're not an oriental geisha, also be it, you're not going to get a job, you're not going to get education, you're not going to get a repair service for your house, we're going to demolish your house to make sure you're getting exterminated and sterilized in the process. And so what, that's exactly the situation that the government of Canada picked up and reinforced me into when I came here into Canada, you can compare my garage to the garages to the garages uh, in front of my house, and you can compare how my garage looks all cracked, all vandalized, all with the rust everywhere. The the, the structure itself, the drywall, the plaster is just shit show. It's a shit show. I don't know who patched it together, or how done they were. I don't know, but that's the kind of the that's the best choice I had when I was picking my first primary residence, and no, I am not selling that, I am not selling it, this is a clear case of harassment and discrimination based on my ethnic origin, genetic qualifications, the health status of my mother, etc, etc, etc. I demand to be relocated and my human rights reinstated, okay? I want my phone and online communications to not be tampered with, okay? I understand you are fudging with all of the phone numbers, this group of people is talking to this center, that group of people is talking to this center, etc, etc. I want to be able to reach normal services and I want to be able to get response from those services, okay? In the timing and in the manner I choose, I want the control of my life. Currently, I'm sitting here prisoner. I'm sitting here being held hostage to meet whichever agenda.